Behavior analysis is the science of behavior and learning. It is a broad field with many applications such as education, gerontology, business practices, and creating sustainability changes. And why you are probably here for the treatment of a specific diagnosis such as autism. We use ABA to identify socially significant goals for each learner. These are necessary for the learner to become independent, connect with others, communicate his wants or needs, stay healthy and safe, and have fun. Treatment based on ABA is individualized. To do so, we must look at the individual's culture in which he lives and what is socially significant within that culture. Two learners in different communities may have very different goals. To create a plan, behavior analysts must meet with the learner and his family and talk about what's meaningful and important to that family. Now would be a great time to start to think about what is important to your family so that you can take an active role in this process. Applied behavior analysis is the study of behavior. But what is behavior? When people use that word, they're very often referring to inappropriate or bad behavior. But in ABA, we look at behavior as anything that we think or do, just our response to what's happening in the environment. Some of our behavior helps us have a better life, and some of our behavior really gets in the way. Here are some examples of behaviors that we might teach using ABA. For example, relating to language, we might teach how to ask or answer questions, tell a story, have a conversation, use one or more words to describe your experiences, how to solve problems. For social skills, we might teach someone how to tap someone else on the shoulder, or how to take turns with a toy, how to call someone on the phone, how to put a toy car down a track. And for independent living skills, we might teach someone how to use the toilet, how to put on their socks, how to hold hands with their mom or dad at the grocery store, how to stay seated in their car seat when they're on the road, or how to cross the street to go to the beach. Basically, any behavior that is socially significant to the learner is something that we could teach using ABA. Now that we know we can use ABA to teach almost any skill, how do we decide what to teach? First, think about your child's day both at home and in the community, and here are a couple of things to look at. Watch other children along with your child doing a similar activity and notice whether there are any skills that those children can do that your child might struggle with. Maybe they can do it faster or more quickly or without any help. Then look at whether there are any skills your child is not yet doing that might have the potential to lead to other skills you don't have to teach. For example, imitation or matching skills allows your child to play new games or do activities with their peers without anyone having to directly teach them how to do those activities. Then ask yourself, what matters now? What's going to help your family right now where there are many opportunities for you to practice that skill throughout your day, both at home and in the community? Once you have a few things on this list, now ask yourself these questions. Is this going to be interesting to my child? Is it going to increase his access to important people or activities? Is it going to increase his independence or allow him to do things that right now you have to do for him? And is it going to increase his ability to make decisions about his day? If you can answer yes to any of those questions, then you have a great place to start. 